Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to Wild Astro and the next instalment of my Astro One conversion. Um, I've got three jobs that I'd like to get done today. Um, this is not going to be the all-out uh, electrical installation that I suggested it would be. Um, I'm going to do that a bit later in the day when I've got the units put in the side and, and that sort of thing. Um, what I am going to do electrically today is try and pull in um, the cables that I'm not going to be able to pull in once the uh, side panels are insulated. So lighting cables are going to be the main thrust of my electrical work today. Um, then we're going to actually start doing the insulation of the side panels um, with the uh, recycled plastic insulation that I've bought. And then, fingers crossed, I'm going to try and install the roof rack. Um, that might be a bit too much for me to try and do on my own because each panel of it's quite heavy, but we'll see. Um, but they are my three aims for this episode of the, vi the build. Um, and hopefully I'll talk you through each of them. This is Wild Astro. talk you briefly through the lighting that's going to be going on in the van here so I'll turn you around I've pulled in as you can see there that large red cable is a 16 mil uh, flexible cable here's the other end of it here um, it's a stranded cable which is very important because the movement the constant movement of the van could cause a solid cord cable to crack um, which would cause us real problems but that cable runs up the pillar there uh, along this central pillar in the roof inside this piece of flexible duct that I put in before comes out up here and then runs through the existing electrical conduit to here now what I've got to do is continue that down and take it underneath the passenger seat which is where the battery is lighting wise the first circuit that's going to happen is the main four LED spotlights that are going to run down the centre of the van. There is also going to be a pair, if I come round the back here. So yeah, there will be four LED spotlights running down the centre of the van here, and those are going to be switched from the main, uh, the main fuse box over there. At the back here, one on the right and one on the left, there's going to be an additional two spots that have a switch in the rear pillar here. That's so that if I come and open the back door up, I can just click those on and I can see what's going on at the back here. Um, finally, lighting wise, no, not quite finally. Thirdly, lighting wise, along, I hope this makes sense, there's going to be a section about 18 inches wide down the center of this roof that is um, lower than the outer portions uh, by about 20 mil and around the outside of that lighting outwards towards the windows is going to be a strip of LEDs they're going to be color changeable LEDs so I can create a bit of mood lighting in here if I ever want to um, and they are going to be switched from over at the main control panel over here as well then finally as far as the lighting goes I'm going to attempt to utilize the the switch for the interior lights, the existing switch for the interior lights here, this spring switch, and that is going to be connected to a strip of LEDs that I'm going to put up inside the door runner here. And that's just going to be another strip of LEDs that when I open this sliding door they come on. Um, so that obviously we have some automatic lighting come on as soon as I open the side door here. Uh, all of the other existing lighting, that in the back at least, I've taken out. So there was a light there and there was a light there at the back where you can see that cable hanging down. I've taken that out. The front, that's going to just stay as it is so that when the doors open the front the cabin light comes on. And that's it. I'm going to keep it relatively simple. Um, the only other wiring I have 
to try to run today is for the uh, reversing camera which has got to be fed from one of the reversing lights over this side um, and then the cable has to run up and over and to the or into the door actually and show you a little bit more about that because what I've done is I've bought a camera that it replaces this a high level brake light and there's a camera built into it. So what I've got to do somehow is get the cable from that, which is in here somewhere, and I've got to bring it down inside the door. This is the this is the uh, the power cable for that brake light. It doesn't go up this side, but it does come through this piece of ducting here. So I've got to get a cable through that piece of duct into the door cavity and then up here and to the brake light, which is up there. Uh, what I'll probably do is drop it down through that, use gravity to help me out, and then and then feed it through, and then try and make make it wiggle its way through that duct somehow, and then into this rear pillar, where everything should be nice and easy to deal with. Um, and I will bring you back uh, once I've got my first cables in place. Okie dokie. So, we've got five lighting cables installed now. Uh, for the five lighting circuits and uh, let me show you where each of them goes. So from the main control point over there uh, I have two coming to this central point here. One of them is going to feed the main um, lighting uh, rig, the four down the middle of the down the middle of the uh, van. The other one is going to feed the LED ring around the outside. Then I've got Two cables going down the back there. One of them is going to feed a reading light that's going on this pillar here, just inside the sliding door. And the other one is going to feed the two rear lights that are going to be switched from that back pillar. And then finally, the last circuit I've got is up here. Uh, and that is going to be a cable that comes down here uh, and to the spring switch down here so that the uh, lights come on uh, when I open the door. And so far that's it. The next thing I have to do is get the wire for the camera installed. So I'm going to do that next and then it's on to insulation. Right, I've brought you back at one of the toughest stages I've been at yet with this. Um, this little guy here is simply an untwist and pull out for the old brake light. So there's the old brake light and that thread there comes out and, and, and you twist it on. Um, twist that grey bit on to, to re-secure the new one. So here's the new one. Lovely brake light with LEDs in either side and a, and a camera in there. Um, the first tricky bit was dangling the cable down this narrow pillar here and getting it to pop out down here. And there it is. But this fella here getting that plug into there, around this bend, and out of here. That is the toughest job I've done yet. And what I had to do was sort of compress and stretch and compress and stretch. It's like if you've ever worn a pair of those jogging bottoms with a lace around the waist and you lose the end of the lace and you have to sort of squash and squash and compress and squash and compress and, and pull the end of the lace back through. It was like that. And it's probably taken me half an hour just to get it around there and out of the top. And now, because obviously it's rubber and there's so much friction, just pulling the remainder of this cable through here is an absolute nightmare mission. So I'm going to just show you what I'm having to go through now. I'm just going to pop you down over here and hopefully you can see me okay. So what I'm having to do is feed a little bit and then hold the bend open down here and pull. Tape around this rubber here to make sure it's watertight. 
and reattach that there. Okay then, so new brake light is installed, cable is where it needs to be, uh, it's come up there, pops out up here and then I've fed it all the way along the conduit up there and you can see a black cable at the front over the sliding door there, that's ready to be fed above the headliner all the way to where the rear view mirror is. Um, at the back here we have the piece of cable that is going to feed a switch here um, for the two interior lights, one on either side of the back door. And then we have the cable here that is going to feed the... What the hell is that for? Oh, of course, yeah, that's, sorry, that's, yeah, that's got to be pulled back a little bit to go to that pillar over there um, for the reading light that's going above that pillar. Um, now, the reason I've pulled these particular five cables is that they are the ones that have to come a significant distance away from the main control point down here. Um, my next job for today is to fill one, two, three, four panels with um, recycled plastic insulation uh, and the sliding door as well. I'll close that and, and, and fill that up too. Um, so I've got five panels that need filling up with this plastic insulation and then if all goes to plan and I have enough of this insulation we're going to put a final layer of the silver bubble wrap, uh, the foil backed bubble wrap over all of that insulation and then we're ready for the wooden panels to go back in and that will be the end of the insula insulation process. Um, so that'll be quite an exciting point. Um, so I'm going to start doing that now. I'm going to start stuffing these uh, with the, the insulation. Um, I'll show you what it is. It's from B&Q and it's the recycled plastic, um, just just fiber insulation basically. And, and I'm told it's quite easy to, to work with, to cut. Um, and uh, yeah, all I'm going to do is unroll that. I'm going to stuff it into these panels and over there. Um, might use a little bit of the spray adhesive just to keep it in. Um, and yeah, that'll be that'll be about it. Uh, so let's see how we get on with that. for example fills up the space really nicely I'm going to cut a couple of pieces to stuff right down into the wheel arch areas now and, uh, and that'll be that panel done straight away lovely <laughs> going to show you the stage I've got to and then I'm going to bring you back when I've finished uh, this phase of the of the build so um, the fleece uh, the fleece insulation is in on all on this side of the van over here I haven't started yet but the fleece insulation is in on this side and then I've started to install the bubble wrap the foil bubble wrap here 
and you can see I'm trying it's it's not the neatest tidiest job in the world but it's not going to be seen so I'm not overly fussed um, what I've got to do is create an, a watertight seal all the way around all these edges uh, with the aluminium tape and it's it's going all right so down here it's fine it's the, here's the stuff that I installed on the floor a couple of episodes ago here's the new wall stuff and and you know nice tight seal all the way around and the tape meets the metal of the van all the way up this pillar and all the way along the ceiling line there as well so what I've got to do is cut another piece of foil um, to go down that side and just fill that gap and then tape it on top and bottom and then I've got to finish going around this wheel arch here which these are the these are the tricky bits really so um, I'm gonna crack on with working on that and I'll bring you back when fingers crossed the whole both sides of the van including this sliding door are at this stage um, insulated foil wrapped all done um, so let's go okay so um, we've reached the end of today's episode um, you don't need to see me finishing off the rest of this but let me turn you around and show you exactly where we're at all right so the driver's side wall is pretty much complete um, it's ready for the wood to go back on now there's one or two holes left that I just want to pop some tape over um, and down the, down the door pillar here and uh, but it's basically done um, ready to have the wood put back and then carpeted the rear doors have all been stuffed with the insulation ready to have their panels uh, put back on after they've been carpeted and then the passenger side rear and the, the sliding door has all been stuffed with the insulation as well so that's ready to have the foil uh, applying to that and um, that's good to go cables yeah we've got the five lighting circuits are in two in the center there two back here and one for the sliding door lights over there uh, i'm not going to get the um the roof rack put on today but i do want to show you before i go uh, some deliveries that have arrived Right, so these nice checker plate looking things here are checker plate steel, five bar checker plate, and I've had these made by a lovely lady I found online called Jeanette Douglas. And these are, first one is the doorstep for there. So once the carpet's down, that will screw on to make that look lovely. The next one you can probably figure out already but we'll take it around the side here. It he goes like that. Again, once I do all the adjustments, that will look fantastic once the, uh, once the flooring is down. And then the last one, the long one that's still there, that goes across the, the, there where the, uh, where the bulkhead was taken out. Um, so that is going to look the business uh, when that is all done. Um, what else has arrived? Uh, in the big box there, that's the diesel heater that's going to live under the cabinet on the side there and blow nice warm air into this space to heat it. Um, in that little pile of bits and pieces on top there is my fuse box, my switch unit, um, lights, all sorts of stuff there. There's also a couple of tins of spray paint, uh, black matte spray paint, and that is because all of the the plastic here and the the running boards down the sides they're all going to get uh, sprayed black to contrast more with the uh, with the white of the van um, what else can I tell you about I think that's about it um, so oh, oh yeah white bumper I picked up a white front bumper um, found that online someone was breaking a Vivaro it's actually a Renault version but someone was breaking it nonetheless and um, yeah, that's, uh, that's almost ready to go on. Needs cleaning up a little bit, but that'll be, that'll be marvellous. Um, and I think that's it for now, folks. So, um, if you've enjoyed what you've seen today, please uh, give me a like, uh, hit the thumbs up down below. Um, leave me any questions or comments you like below in the, uh, in the comments section. Um, consider subscribing to the channel. And if I don't see you again before the new year, have a very Merry Christmas, uh, a fantastic new year, and 
look forward to 2021 when there will be an awful lot more from Wild Astro, Astro One, and hopefully, fingers crossed, an awful lot less lockdown action. And so that's it from me. Thank you so, so much for joining me throughout 2020. Uh, it's been tough at times, but we're nearly through it. And 2021, surely, it's got to be better, hasn't it? Fingers crossed. Looking forward to finding out. But folks, again, thank you. And this is Richie for Wild Astro, signing off. Thank you.